If your string of Christmas lights is not lighting up, don't throw it away yet. It might be the fuse. If you know you have power going to the lights, then your problem is either a bulb or the fuse. Right there, you see the two little fuses. A lot of people don't realize you can access these fuses in a little door that says open. You, all you have to do is slide it open. You can use your fingernail or a little flathead screwdriver. Basically, this little tab, this little door just slides right open and then you'll see these two tiny little fuses. If your lights aren't working, one of the fuses or both could be blown. And I'm going to show you a couple ways that you can test this. It'll take a couple of tools that you may or may not have. The way these fuses work is they have a tiny little connection inside and if there's too much current, this fuse will disconnect and then you won't have a circuit. So to test it, you have a little continuity tester send a tiny amount of current through and it'll either beep or light up showing you that the fuse is good or it won't if the fuse is bad. This right here is a continuity tester. You can put the fuse in the one clip and then test it on the other lead. This is a tool that you may not have or you may have a multimeter, which is something that I highly recommend that any homeowner or DIYer get because it has several functions, which I can show you as a bonus in the end of this video. But to get back to the lights, what we have to do is set it to the continuity setting and then take both leads, one on one side on the fuse and the other on the other side, and it'll beep if there is a connection, meaning that the fuse is good. So this symbol right here might be hard to see. It, sound, it looks like a little three lines, three or four lines, like a sound symbol. You'll set the multimeter to that. It's kind of hard to do on video here, but it'll be easy enough to put the leads on either side of the fuse. So in my case, I tested both fuses and unfortunately, both of the fuses were good, meaning that my lights have another problem, probably a bulb out somewhere. The good thing is that they usually will give you a pack of extra light bulbs and you can see here, they actually will include spare fuses. So if your fuse is blown, you can test these spare fuses the same way I tested the other one. And then you simply replace the bad fuses with the good fuses and then hopefully your lights will light up. In my case, they didn't, but at least I have my little Christmas tree to light up my holiday spirit. There's a few things you can use a multimeter for around the house that would be useful. You have the continuity setting there to test fuses, including auto fuse. So if you have a problem with an auto fuse, you can test it the same way you'll test this little Christmas tree light fuse by putting leads on both sides of the fuse. If you get a beep or a light, then the fuse is good. If you want to check to see if the battery's good, you can set it to the little battery setting and it's checking the nine volts. If you get anything less than nine volts or even a zero, then your battery is bad. Batteries like AA, AAA, C, D, all are 1.5 volts. You set it to the 1.5, and as long as you have over 1.5 volts, then the battery is good. If you happen to have a resistor and you don't know how much resistance it has, you can set it to the ohms setting, as I'm doing here. If I don't know how to read the resistor, what I can do is set it to the resistor setting. Again, leads on each side. And in this case, I can see I have a 1K resistor to check to see if a circuit or a receptacle is good, you can put the insulated leads in the outlet. And here you have the voltage setting. Voltage AC is the V in a swirly line. And then if you see over 120 volts or around 120, then you're good. So hopefully that helped you out. And there's a link in the description for this multimeter or a similar one. I highly recommend getting it for these uses and others, which can be very handy. And subscribe for more tips. Thanks for watching.